me drink my ketones. Time to get into my home garage to start my workout. I'm going to be practicing a round of my cardio kickboxing. Remember the reason why you're doing this is to make your life better. So typically when I get ready to learn a new round for my cardio kickboxing class, I write everything on the mirror and I go to town with my music. So there's a little behind the scenes for you. to the donut shop. I'm still fasting, so even if I wasn't, no donuts for me. I'm eating keto too. You ain't eating keto if you're eating donuts. I ate a keto brownie. So, when's the last time you guys had donuts? Like two weeks ago. Who got y'all donuts? When was Jemima's like last week? Yeah, I remember. That was, yeah, like two weeks ago. That's when y'all had donuts on? So I just got out of the shower after my workout. Um, now my husband called me and he needs me to take him some lunch because he forgot his lunch. So he's having leftover taco salad. And because I love him so much, I'm giving him some three, three of the um, keto cookies I made the other day. So I'm gonna be headed out that way. And I will be back, I'm still fasting. Um, I don't know when I'm going to eat. I'm still not hungry. I've just been chugging a lot of water, but I'm about to get ready when I get back to start working on another um, YouTube video and check into my groups and just see how my community is doing. All right, so it's about 1.15ish, somewhere around there. Um, I just got a notification from my intermittent fasting app. I track it. I don't know why. I feel like I just need to track it so I can see my streak on how well I'm doing. Um, if you want um, to download it, it's called Zero. It's an amazing intermittent fasting app. You can pick like different ones, but it's about 1.15ish. I got to go to work around 2.30, so right now I'm going to go ahead and break my fast. Um, with what I ate last night. So what I had for dinner last night was um, taco, a taco bowl or a taco salad. The only thing is, is that I ran out of tomatoes and I also ran out of avocado. So I'm gonna try to scrounge around in my refrigerator and see what I have left um, to see if I can make this taco bowl amazing. Um, if not, I'm probably gonna mess around and make me a fathead pizza because I've got to take some lunch to work anyway because I'll be working the late shift. So in case I get hungry later on this afternoon, I'll have that as well. So I, I totally don't mind eating the same meal twice. I love it. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I did some digging around and man, let me tell you, I need to go grocery shopping. So <laughs> instead of me getting ready to make my uh, fat hip pizza I'm gonna go ahead and make my famous um, fried cabbage bacon and sausage um, it's really simple I'm gonna go ahead and make that I have the ingredients for that and then I'm going to um, make my salad for my lunch right now that's to break my food. first I gotta I gotta start with um, cooking my bacon so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my bacon
Okay, so I only, I had a half a pack of bacon, so I'm gonna go ahead and make all of it because I'm gonna put some with my salad and then I'm gonna put some in my cabbage and uh, sausage um, that I'm gonna be making. So I have the bacon cooking right now and in the meantime, I'm gonna start cutting up my cabbage and my sausage to throw it in there whenever the bacon is ready. So I'm gonna kill you. Here we go. So we got this one that's ready to come out. So I'm just gonna um, get my fork and put them on a paper towel to put the grease out. I still have a couple of more strips to cook because this is gonna be going in my cabbage and in my salad. If I can get it out. I want to Caesar salad. You are all right, so I've already got all of my bacon cooked right here. I cooked them in the pan. Look nice and crispy. I'm actually going to have one right now. Mm. So what I'm going to do now is cut up my cabbage and my sausage, and I'm going to toss it in the pan that I made the bacon in with the bacon grease because that is the best grease that you can use to cook with um, is the fat right off the bacon. So I'm just going to give it a lot more flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up, cut the sausages and toss them in there and then add the bacon at the end. Alright, so I have my cabbage sausage ready to go. It's in the pan whenever I get ready to package it in my um, to-go box for work. I'll add the bacon on top and a little bit of salt and pepper. So right now, I still haven't ate. I'm going to make my salad so that I can eat my salad and then head out to work. So it's just going to be um, one part of romaine lettuce some hamburger meat that I made last night and some mozzarella cheese topped with some bacon. I'm not gonna put any kind of dressing on it. Um, that's just the way I prefer it. It tastes really good that way. Um, I've learned to love salad without adding a whole lot of dressing unless like I'm out at a restaurant or something like that because my meat is very flavorful and I don't really need to worry about um, the dressing. So let me turn this down. My fan is so loud. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to put it in one of these bowls and then cut up this romaine lettuce. So here we go. All right, so 
I have made my salad and so I'm gonna taste it. It's the first time I've made it without um, any tomatoes or avocados and I've add bacon for the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Um, and like I said earlier, I don't have um, ranch dressing. Okay, man. Mmm, so good. My ground beef is like so flavorful. Because I see the it. <laughs> and then the okay. bacon, it just adds like bacon the right amount of like salt. So, so good. I'm gonna finish this up, get ready for work, and package my lunch. All right, I'm ready to go to work. Super simple t shirt, got my pants on, the shoes, and now I'm gonna pack my lunch. So, Get this started. Here is my cabbage. All right, there it is. My lunch is packed ready to go. And then I'm going to also get me two keto cookies for dessert just in case. I made these keto cookies a couple of days ago. They're so good. Um, they're made out of um, almond flour and some coconut oil and chocolate chips. Freaking amazing. Um, it's taken me a while to find a, um, a chocolate chip cookie recipe that I love, that it doesn't taste like, it doesn't taste like, um, grainy or dry this is like just right so um, I will put the recipe down on the bottom for you to check it out they're totally amazing all right so off to work I go Hey, lunchtime at work. I brought my cabbage and sausage. They had a party today. Um, my boss is leaving, so I got some deviled eggs from there. It was the only thing that was keto friendly. And then I brought uh, my um, keto cookies. So I'm so excited that um, I get to share you guys, share with you guys what I do in a day. It's very simple a lot of people think it's really hard to do but this has been the easiest way of eating for me in a very long time I used to struggle a lot with what to eat portion control you know how often all of that stuff and this by far has been the easiest and the best way the best way to um you know live the lifestyle that I love without feeling like I'm on a diet so Mmm, it tastes so good with the bacon. All right, well, they are calling me. When I work, it's never really a break, so I work in between bites. And I will see you guys later. All right, so it is 10.45 my time. I just got off work. It was a crazy busy long day. Um, I got off later than usual. I had to wait on some folks to finish their job <laughs> before I could close up shop. But this is basically how a typical day goes for me, um, especially when I have to work. So I hope you enjoyed watching a day of what I eat and all the crazy exciting things in between. And I hope that I've inspired you somewhat on living this lifestyle don't overcomplicate it keep it simple and just do you all right have a great night thanks for watching and last but not least don't forget to hit the subscribe button click on the little bell for notifications because there's going to be more vlogs just like this one to come bye